Anderson, always known as the eccentric magpie. Uh, I'm part of Panda City FC, I'm a fill -in. Uh, I probably once every two to three weeks fill in for goalie. I'm already a bit sweaty because I've already uh, been laying down the, the gloves and all that and the goals, but uh, our game starts in about five minutes. Pretty nervous, the tick is going a bit haywire at the moment. Uh, I'm 21 years old and I love my sport, mate. I, I love my footy and my soccer, or football, for you uh, hooligans out there. G'day, this is Jordan. Um, so, Panda City this season, played for Jazz Town and uh, Wilbur uh, back in the day. It's about 45 degrees in here, I'm struggling. Uh, it's got one of the nuts as well, but uh, yeah, should be a good game today. So. Uh, hi, I'm Jim Stacey, co founding member of uh, Wilbur Athletic FC, which has now become known as Panda City FC. I've uh, been playing for a while, losing for just as long, and uh, just winning a few games along the way. Thanks to some help from our friends. Uh, hopefully we won't get smashed by too much tonight. As they made their way out onto the pitch, Panda City were feeling the nerves. Here I am for my triumphant return. Fortunately, there were no pre-game injuries to report. The game had begun, and little did anybody know that we were going to be in for a massive goal fest. And on the stroke of the first minute, it was Braden Vanderpoel who broke through the defence. But due to a woeful budget, our cameraman was drinking some goon and actually missed the goal. But just five seconds after the restart, a cracker was sent in from the centre back for the Stallions. There was nothing Henderson could have done about that. The save to come by Adam Henderson was going to prove fatal at the end of the game. After some slick movement from James Stacey and Braden Vanderpoel, Panda City were very unlucky not to go ahead. This time it was Henderson's size 13s that saved the day. In the fifth minute, the Pandas decided to bring on Corf and Paul Sampson for some extra talent on the pitch. It had only been one minute since Crawford came onto the pitch and he immediately made a difference with his stellar run down the flank. A fantastic setup from Crawford, setting up Jordi Marinos for a fantastic goal. It was time for Marinos to have a spell at 2 all, and it was time to bring on the gun, Jim Stacey. It seemed that things were all falling apart for Panda City, and in the seventh minute, the Stallions made it count. 3-2 the score, was it going to be another failure? Not all hope was lost for the Pandas. In the ninth minute, Jim Stacey made the Stallions pay with a stellar free kick. Not too long after James Stacey's equaliser was Adam Henderson called up to make an absolutely brilliant save. His big frame on this occasion is what stood in the way. After a series of four shots of goal in a row did not go in, the Pandas could not believe their luck. And as the Stallions netted their fifth, the frustrations were getting the better of Henderson. Moments after the Stallions score their fifth, Paul Sampson up the other ring creates his own piece of magic. One that I don't think anyone in that stadium will ever forget. The half definitely belonged to Panda City. The luck that was coming out moments before half time for Paul Sampson shall never be forgotten. And in the 17th minute, Paul Sampson was even shocked at his own ability. Six five had finished at the break, but it could have been more ugly for the Pandas. As the players made their way onto the field, Henderson thought he livened things up a bit. Oh, it's a boy. <laughs> it was a matter of seconds after the restart, and again the Pandas found themselves in dire trouble. 
The Pandas didn't mind dropping that last goal from the Stallions as Croft netted the easiest of goals. The free kick was awarded to Crawford just outside the box, and as he smashed it into the wall, it reflected fortuitously for Geordie Marinos, who netted the most amazing of goals. No one in the stadium knew what hit them. It was certainly a man of the match performance from this man, Paul Sampson, as he took it all the way from full back to full forward and netted beautifully. Five and a half minutes gone, second half, Pandas up by one solitary goal. Jim Stacey was the next up, but he just fired wide. After a rather unusual mistake from Braden Vanderpoel, the Stallions capitalised at the other end, scoring an absolute cracker. The game had it all. Great saves, great solo runs, fantastic goals, but this further added to the mystique of the game. Braden Vanderpoel netted home his second on the tightest of angles. Shit off. After the Stallions were awarded a free kick outside the box, they made no mistake in tying up the scores 9-0. Henderson was left dazed and confused. Towards the end of the match, the cool, calm and collected Jim Stacey potted it from the spot. 10-9 the score and the Pandas with the upper hand. After a controversial piece of play, Crawford was involved in one of the weirdest goals ever in action indoor. Was it a goal? Was it not a goal? You decide.